Welcome to another episode of Tom Talks Film. In this episode, I'll be exploring the four principal Soviet contributions to the film editing style known as montage. More specifically, this video essay breaks down the contributions of Lev Kuleshov, Ziga Vertov, Sevalod Pudovkin, and Sergei Eisenstein. Simply defined, the term montage is a French idea that means to put together, or as it pertains to film, the assembly of shots. While the concept of montage has evolved over the years, especially when considering the contributions of these early theorists, the roots of this technique go further back. For instance, in the 1898 film Come Along Do, in the surviving 38 second portion of this film, there are two shots edited together of a couple at an art gallery. In the first shot, the couple sits on a bench outside the gallery, and once they stand and walk to the door, the film cuts and introduces a shot from inside the gallery where the couple views art on display. In its most basic form, the linking of these two shots represents the idea of montage. As the art form progressed, new concepts of what and how to use montage evolved beyond this simplified technique and introduced a wide range of ideas. These early cinematic theorists contributed to this understanding by offering their interpretations of this editing style. However, I have observed that these ideas are often lumped together even though their unique styles build upon previous interpretations to expand the technique. According to Dr. Yuho Ahava, the first recorded use of the term montage was in a 1917 publication by Lev Kuleshov, who was instrumental in laying the initial framework for this theory. His early contributions undoubtedly influenced many Soviet theorists and filmmakers. Notably, Podovkin worked alongside Kuleshov as his student and gained first-hand experience before expanding into his own thoughts. It was during this time that Kuleshov began his experimental phase. As David Bordwell pointed out, Kuleshov produced several experiments over a seven-year period as he developed the idea of montage. The most famous of his experiments is the one known as the Kuleshov effect. In this example of his experiment, the image of the man takes on different meanings as his gaze changes between the bowl of soup, the child in a coffin, and the woman lying on a couch. And even though his expression does not change, the assigned meaning changes with each set of edited shots. Ziga Vertov was a pioneer of documentary filmmaking and believed in creating what he termed cinema truth. His approach to montage emphasized raw, unmanipulated portrayals of reality that centered on an editing pace that he believed mimicked the rhythm of life. Grounded in an understanding that film should reflect the truth of life, Veritov's style of montage attempted to present an unmanipulated form of reality. This included, but was not limited to, jump cuts and unexpected juxtapositions to disrupt the traditional narrative structure. Within his montage style, Vertov felt that rhythm was crucial to constructing a film's meaning. Through rhythmic patterns, syncing visuals, and auditory elements, he believed it was possible to invoke an emotional response while conveying the film's theme. Sevalod Podovkin focused on the psychological impacts of montage. He believed that editing a film in a specific manner could invoke an emotional response from the audience by connecting shots meaningfully to convey its thematic depth. His theory emphasized building tension, revealing character motivations, and guiding audience interpretation through careful editing choices. Unlike Vertov's attempt to portray reality, Podovkin embraced the idea of associative montage connecting emotional themes within a series of images. Through juxtaposition, he believed the assembly of shots would create powerful metaphors with symbolic significance. In an attempt to build and gain empathy within each viewer, Podovkin's use of montage often included depicting characters' thoughts, feelings, and motivations. He aimed to generate an emotional engagement within the audience by assembling opposing shots one after the other. Moving on to perhaps the most renowned theorist and filmmaker in this group, Sergei Eisenstein. Similar to Vertov, Eisenstein utilized a rapid editing pace. As we view his film October, this editing pace is evident. With approximately 3,200 cuts over 95 minutes, the average shot length is slightly more than 1.7 seconds. Eisenstein classified montage into three categories based on their relationship to time, movement, and mood. 
Metric montage focuses on the precise timing of shots. Rhythmic montage manipulates the pacing and flow of images. And tonal montage invokes emotional responses through the inclusion of visual and auditory elements. Building upon Pudovkin's idea of juxtaposition, Eisenstein believed that the collision of contrasting shots transcended an image's original meaning and would lead to a more significant ideological understanding when the audience considered them as one unit of measurement. He described this as intellectual montage, where the sum total is greater than the individual shots. Eisenstein even theorized how sound film was to be imagined and constructed through what he called vertical montage. In the sketch shown here from Eisenstein's Battleship Potemkin, his writings show a similar depiction to how films are constructed in many digital film editing programs today. Now, while I do not know if the initial design of these programs utilized Eisenstein's concepts, it is remarkable to see the similarities between his ideas and how films are edited today. These film theories continue to shape how filmmakers implement montage and influence techniques around narrative structure. Even as technology advances, the ideas of these theorists continue to evolve with the aid of diverse practitioners. Today's filmmakers continue to draw upon these ideas, blending the various elements from these contributors and the many other filmmakers who expanded beyond these early concepts, such as filmmakers like Alfred Hitchcock. Understanding the theories of Kuleshov, Vertov, Pudovkin, and Eisenstein allows audiences to appreciate the artistry behind editing and deepen their engagement with the films they watch. Each theorist offered valuable insight into the art of editing and shaping how we perceive and interpret visual storytelling. Thank you for watching this episode of Tom Talks Film, and I hope you enjoyed my exploration of these early Soviet contributions to the way movies are constructed through the editing process. My sources for this project are listed here and in the video description below. Until next time, get out there and assemble something interesting.